property right now. The Furman Paladins come up so close in the SoCon tournament. And that's how you say it. Thanks, Gordon. Well, tonight's championship game went into overtime. In seven sports, Todd Summers uh, joins us now from Asheville. Hi, Todd. Hello, Taylor. It was a SoCon championship game for the ages. Furman led by as many as 12 in the second half, and the Paladins also trailed by as many as eight in the second half. But this game wasn't decided until the very last second. Closing seconds of the game, Paddlin's down three. Mike Bothwell steps back and drains three of his game high 24 points to force overtime tied at 51. In the extra frame, Bothwell scores seven of the Paddlin's 12 points and lays it in to give Furman a two point lead with four seconds to go. However, David Jean Baptiste races up the floor and hits the contested three at the buzzer to break the Paladins' hearts as Chattanooga wins the league title at the buzzer, 64-63. Went blow for blow, and it came down to, to the very last play, and unfortunately, it, it didn't go our way, ball didn't bounce our way, but this is one of the hardest things I've been through in however many years I've done this. This didn't go our way late, but we lost that game in one second, you know, and such is life, but um, I couldn't be more proud of my teammates. Um, I couldn't be more proud of how we responded. And when the clock hit zeros, Furman's Garrett Heen literally fell to the floor and was just sobbing because of how close his team was to winning a SOCON championship. Meanwhile, Mike Bothwell just stood and watched as the Mox celebrated a championship that he thought the Paladins had done enough to win. Live in Asheville, Todd Summers, 7 Sports. Back to you.